Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the next episode of Tutorial Tuesday. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Visual Studio Code on your Chromebook. Now, before we get started, there's just two things. First thing is if you have an ARM based Chromebook, this is not going to work. You need an Intel or AMD based processor in your Chromebook. Second thing is I'm going to assume that you already have Linux beta turned on. If you don't, or you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link up in the corner here to a video that I did that walks you through all those steps. Now, assuming both of those are satisfied, let's jump right into this tutorial. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is go to code.visualstudio.com. And what you wanna do is download this .deb file. So just hit that. Let it download and when it's done, we can do the install. Now I've already downloaded this, so I'm just gonna cancel out of this. When you're done, open up your files app and then go into downloads. And it's gonna be right here, this code and then the version number .deb. Now, in most cases, what you'll be able to do is just right click on this and install with Linux beta. It's gonna go collect all the information about it. You can hit install and it will install that .deb file and handle all the dependencies and then you'll be good to go. So let's let that run and then we'll come back. All right, so now we can see that installation is complete. We can go ahead and click okay on this. And when we go into our apps list and go into our Linux apps, there is Visual Studio Code. We can launch it there or we can just type in, you know, start typing it in here. It's gonna find it. We can launch it, comes right up and we can start working on our code. We can do a new file and do all our coding in here. So that is fully installed. Now, sometimes just right clicking on that DEB and installing doesn't work. So I'm gonna show you another way to do that. Before I show you this next installation method, I just wanna show you that I remove Visual Studio Code from my computer so that we could start fresh so I can show you that this method works as well. So what we wanna do is in the Files app in our Downloads folder, we wanna copy that .deb file and we're gonna paste it into Linux files. Now what that does is when we paste something into Linux files, it allows us to access those files from our Linux installation. So I'm gonna go and open the terminal again and type in ls and we can see that we have that deb file. So we're gonna install this by the command line now. So what we wanna type is sudo dpkg minus i and then just start typing code and then hit the tab key. It'll auto fill in the rest of the name and we can hit enter. Now, hopefully it'll have all the dependencies, but we may need to satisfy some. And dependencies are just other applications that need to be installed before this application will work. So we can see there's a few of these that we need to satisfy. So to do that, we're just gonna type sudo apt install minus F. It's gonna ask us if we wanna install those files that it recognized as dependencies. We're gonna hit yes on that. So now we can hit the up arrow key and then hit it again to get that sudo dpkg minus i code dot deb and hit enter. And hopefully this time it should install successfully. So now if we go into our files and into our Linux apps, we can see that we have Visual Studio Code in there. I'm gonna go ahead and launch that. And it launches up and we can use it just like normal, just like using that other installation method. Now, for some reason, using that installation method of right clicking on the DEB and doing install doesn't work for everybody, but it seems like this method um, is kind of a fail safe if that other method doesn't work. Now, if you get a message when you try to install this and says it's the wrong architecture and you have an ARM64, that means you don't have an Intel or AMD based processor and this installation is unfortunately not gonna work for you. This only works for those Intel processors. But now that Visual Studio Code is installed on your Chromebook, you can use it just like you would on any other Linux-based machine. 
So that's all there is to it. I've tried this method on a few different Chromebooks and it's worked for me, but if you have any problems or questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. Hopefully I or somebody else in the community can answer you. If you have any ideas for future tutorials, let me know those as well, and I will see you in the next video.